In the last video, we looked at how to use the Visual Studio Conversion Wizard to migrate code from a VB6 project to VB.NET. In this video, we are going to look at how to make several improvements to the code by using some of the features of the ArcGIS.NET SDK. Let's get started by replacing the class that was created by the wizard with an ArcGIS.NET base command with a new class CLS add shape file 1.vb. When the ArcGIS new item wizard option dialog box opens, choose desktop arcmap command and click OK. Let's now turn our attention towards bitmap. Earlier, we did not do much with the bitmap. In the solution exp explorer window, right click CLS add shapefile.bmp and delete it. This is a default one that comes with the base command when you create a base command. In the solution explorer window, right click add existing item and this is a CLS add shapefile dot BMP. I would like to rename it to match it with the name of the base command and add it. Since the bitmap name is the same as the name of the class, the bitmap section placed there by the IDE integration will use the bitmap added. Now I select the bitmap and change the build action property to embedded resource. The next step is to add appropriate code to the constructor of the base command. Notice that all the properties are empty strings and I need to update their values for this command corresponding to what we had in the raw converted file. The next step is to copy the onclick code from the raw project to the new project. The onclick function is in the overridden class methods region. There are two errors here. One is it doesn't understand what m underscore p resources is and the other is m underscore p application. When I create the base command, m underscore p application as i application creates automatically for me. So I just need to replace this m underscore p application p app with m underscore application. And now I need to see how I can resolve this issue with m underscore p resources. So if I look at the previous file, I know that this has been declared as private. So I copy this code here and paste it. So now it knows what exactly is m underscore p resources. In addition to it, there are also various instances where m underscore p, ref p resources are found. So I find all references and go and see where exactly each one is. So now here there is a code, there is a procedure which is class initialize renamed. So I would like to use that. Paste it. And then we also have another procedure a 
and this doesn't understand what m underscore p app is it is being changed to m underscore application now the last step is to have this class underscore initialize underscore renamed page to be pasted under new so I'll go ahead and paste it right here now the la now the next step is to get rid of the CLS add shape file this way I'm actually getting rid of all the I command so yes I would like to delete it and because I don't have the VB file so I don't even see a point keeping the BMP so I go ahead and delete that okay let me go ahead and build a solution builds okay I have arc map open here I want to add the shape file by opening the customized dialog box and looking for it in the developer samples I have add shape files notice the BMP file associated to this command I click on this okay so I could successfully add a shape file to my arc map and notice that it gets reflected on the TOC as well in summary we looked at how to take advantage of ArcGIS.NET SDK framework features to improve our code we saw the benefits of using .NET by being able to take advantage of the object oriented behavior of the language itself we had to make few adjustments to the code after the .NET wizard converted the existing VB6 project. Edits were not as many and the overall process was simple and straightforward. I hope you find the video useful. Thank you for listening.